Hey what's going on guys, it's Gospels here, welcome to this YouTube video. In today's video guys, I'll be talking to you guys how you guys can go ahead and request a trade or how to trade players and how to become a starter inside of my career. If you guys are new here, please make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, that'll all be very, very appreciated. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and talk about it. So how you guys can actually go ahead and become uh, or trade yourself inside of my career the first tip i have for you guys is just honestly playing bad if you guys don't know how to do this just simply don't score enough per game lose your minutes and after that they'll seem to trade you if you guys really want to go to a new team but again that's not a team you can actually select but how you guys can actually go ahead and request a trade to your favorite team or to a team that is good enough is first of all you actually have to be kind of good you have to be dropping a lot of numbers per game and you for sure have to at least be rookie of the year if it's your first season so don't try to request a trade if you're a bad player since again not many teams will want you so if you guys want all those options on that basketball court first of all make sure you're a position that your team will like so for example if you are the Lakers don't pick a power forward to try to replace replace Anthony Davis but try to pick a shooting guard or some position that the Lakers don't have already Ready. If your goal is to be on that team, make sure you do that at first. Uh, you guys can also select your teams when you guys are drafted. For example, you guys can go ahead and pick your tryouts and all that sort of stuff. If you guys want to get drafted to a specific team, that's what you guys can do. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk about how you guys can request a trade. So when you are in your My Career menu, go to simply your career and you guys can actually see the request a trade icon there. You guys can see all your team interests. So again, this is what I was talking Talking about make sure your team doesn't have depth in that position like I said obviously don't try to be a power forward and go to the Lakers but except be a shooting guard if you want to go to the Lakers or if you want to be a point guard and your favorite teams the Warriors don't try to be a point guard and go in the Warriors try to be something that that's like a power forward or in a position they don't have any uh, young players in. for example a Warriors a really good example is the power forward since Draymond Green's getting old and he's open for trade in 2k22 so he'll obviously be open for trade in NBA 2k23 it's just as simple as that but anyways though that's what I'll be talking about so make sure you guys go over there click your request to trade then after you guys click like that you guys should be able to get a notification within the next three day well like three 2k days so around like five minutes depending if it's a game day or not if it's a game day probably you'll have to finish the game and then you'll see if the trade was requested and it is good and then after that you should be good to go again make sure what i was talking about you guys have a right fit for your team again don't expect your team to have lots of interest you interest in you if you have like some huge team or some or some like player that already has a team so just don't do that don't pick a superstar position it won't be good just make sure you have a position that can fit you but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys drop a like drop a sub smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell again if you guys want to trade other players inside of 2k22 that's a different story if you guys want to actually go ahead and trade players around you you have to make sure to become a player like lebron james on his team for example who is basically a gm so at that point, you'd have to be an absolute superstar. I'm talking like champion winner. I'm talking about championship. I'm talking about MVP. I'm talking about all-star all the time. First ballot all-star, all-star team captain, all that type of stuff. Basically, you're already going to have to be great, and you can only really start trading other players probably in your third or fourth season. Obviously, I've been trying this in 2K. Even if you're a 99 overall in your rookie year, you still can't trade players. So again, you'll have to wait three or four seasons so you can actually become a well good, a good name at your team. Then after that, you'll provide some trade value, and then when you show consistency in the game, they'll let you be a player like LeBron James, who actually makes basically, quote unquote, makes the trades for their team. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub. Comment down below what you guys think about this and let me know. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.